Hello everybody, welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at another production mod in the Dragon's Den production extension. But before that, this video is brought to you by Farming Peter and Bipolar Prophet. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Dragon's Den production extension mod can be found over at simplysafemods.com. There will be a link down in the description below. As a result of not being on the Giants Mod Hub, this production mod is available for PC only. Now this mod has a lot to offer. Specifically, we have three orchards. We have three modified greenhouses. We have a modified bakery and we have modified dairy options. We also, oddly enough, have three farmhouses and we include, thank you very much, Dragon's Den for doing this. We have a custom cell point for the new fill types that are included with this particular mod. And we have the fill types right here. So we have six new fruits and then we have three new production elements. So we have apples, plums, pears, lemons, cherries, and oranges are added through the three new orchards. Then we have ice cream, strawberry pie, and apple pie are all of the new fill types that are brought in with this particular mod. So let's go and take a little closer look at the build mode. Then we'll come and take a look at the production chains and maybe walk around and check out some of the new items in the mod, which are going to be the orchards. So we come in here into our build mode and we're going to come down here to production factories. They all have Dragon's Den listed here to help us identify. Now we have the base game dairy, which is located right here for $70,000. And then we have the Dragon's Den dairy, which includes the ability to make ice cream. So overall, it looks the same, just has ice cream added to it. We also have another dairy. The kind of European dairy has been added here with the ice cream option. We have the Dragon's Den Bakery that has apple pie and cherry pie being added as outputs and apples as being added as an input. We also have the European Bakery. And then we have a Bakery Factory, $200,000. It is basically a reskin of the grape processing facility, but it is set up to act as a bakery. And there we have it right here. So those are the three or the new factories that are part of this pack. We then have the Dragon's Den Farmer's Market skinned in blue. And it is set up to accept several of the fill types that the standard Farmer's Market accepts, plus the new fill types, all of the fruits the pies and the ice cream from this pack. Then we move on to greenhouses. We have the Dragon's Den greenhouses. They basically produce the same outputs, tomatoes, strawberries, and lettuce, but they give you the option of making it with water or with water and manure. So we have the small greenhouse, the medium greenhouse, and the large greenhouse. Then we move into our orchards and unlike base game where we are drawing our orchards out. We have kind of pre-placed, pre-planned orchards. They accept manure and water and they will produce plums, oranges, apples, cherries, lemons, and pears. So we have a small orchard, $20,000. We have a medium orchard, $30,000. Then we have a large, oh my gosh, large orchard for $40,000. But that's not where it all ends. Because over here in the buildings, farmhouses, we actually have three farmhouses. We have a white skin farmhouse. This looks just like the base game farmhouse. That is, or not the base game farmhouse, but the farmhouse that's up in the northwest of the map with a little bit of decoration going on. We have a sleep trigger here in the front and we have a wardrobe trigger over here on the side. So we have a white variant. We have a blue variant. And then we have 
kind of my favorite of the three, a red variant. Fifty thousand dollars each. So it feels like the kind of feels like the um, the farmhouses are a bonus to this mod since they don't really don't have anything to do with production. So let's go ahead and take a look at our production chains screen. You'll see we have the DD Large Orchard, and we have the ability to make apples with or without manure. So without manure, it's one unit of apple or one unit of water to make five units of apple, 1,536 cycles per month, $24 per month cost. We have apple with manure, two units of water to one unit of manure is going to give you 20 apples. So you're going to get more apples per cycle, four times the apples per cycle, same cycles per month, 1,536 and 24. We have cherry, one water to five cherries, Two waters and a manure to 20 cherries. Lemon, one to five. Guess what? Two and one to 20. You kind of get the, the gist here. You can make a little bit of crop with water, but you can make a whole lot more crop with water and manure. If we come down here to our medium orchard, 1536 is the cycles per month for large. 576 is the cycles per month for the medium orchard. And again, the same recipe and the same outputs there. So less cycles per month by, by a third. And then we go down to the small orchard. We're down to 384 cycles per month. Again, the same recipe, one to five or two and one to 20. The bakery, we have the same recipes until we get down here to the cakes or the pies. And the pies you're going to see are the same recipe as cake. So it's two flour, two sugar, two milk, two eggs, two butter, and two strawberries. It's going to make five pies, 240 cycles per month. Apple pies is going to be you substitute the apples as opposed to strawberries. You're going to get five apple pies, 240 cycles per month, $60 per month. Then we move down here to the European bakery. Same recipe, same cycles per month. We have the bakery factory though. So we're talking 2160, 6,480 cycles per month to make bread, 576 cycles a month to make cakes compared to 192. Then apple, strawberry pies and apple pies are 720 cycles per month at $60 per month versus the smaller buildings of being 240 cycles per month. The dairy, we have ice cream, which is five milk and three sugars. It's going to make one ice cream, 2,400 cycles per month at $24 per month, regardless of which dairy we pick. And then our greenhouses, we have the option of making tomatoes with water, lettuce and strawberries with water, or we can add manure. And now we get two, manure, two water, one manure is four tomatoes. Same cycles per month. So we're going to be making more product when we add the manure as an option. And that is pretty much the production pack right there. So we know what the dairy looks like. It's just going to accept and make ice cream. We know what all of these greenhouses look like. It's just they're, we're going to be able to dump manure here now and get our products. We know what the bakeries look like, right? We're just accepting apples. But here we have the large orchard. And I have it configured full of water, 40,000 liters of water, 20,000 liters of manure. And then we can hold 15,000 liters of all of the fruits. So apple, cherry, lemon, orange, pear, and plum. And then you can see we can spawn here two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 pallets at a time. See, we do have fruit appearing on the trees. Kind of a nice little orchard. That's the large orchard. Here is the industrial bakery factory. This is the small orchard. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 pallets again. Just less trees, less production. 10,000 units of water, 5,000 units of manure, and you're gonna hold 9,000 units of all of the fruits. 
And then we move here to the medium bakery, or not the medium bakery, the medium orchard. And it's gonna hold 20,000 liters of water, 10,000 liters of manure, and 12,000 liters of product. And once again, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 pallets can be stored here before the spawn point is full. So guys, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of the Dragon's Den production extension? And this is becoming the, uh, the new and noteworthy production weekend. I've got one more production mod video coming up here shortly. So be on the lookout for that one. And until next time, happy farming.